Welcome everyone, my name is Wolfman Mozzie, and today I'm going to be giving my opinions and my review of the game Mythforce. If you're not familiar, Mythforce is a rogue light RPG game with an art style and inspiration taken straight out of an 80s cartoon, much like the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon or He-Man, or the Dragon's Lair arcade game. Mythforce was developed by a team called Beamdog, who has made such games as Baldur's Gate, and Neverwinter Nights. So they're very familiar with RPG games. Something also to note that this game is in early access and they've already updated the game since its launch to help some of the performance issues and added a couple extra things. At face value, the game is a lot of fun and the game feels like you're playing an 80s Saturday morning cartoon. As of right now, there are four playable characters, Victoria the Knight, Rico the Rogue, Maggie the Mage, and Hawkins the Hunter. And I think all the heroes have their own unique playstyles and are enjoyable. Victoria has a mason shield and she is very good in terms of defense and getting kind of in the thick of everything. Hawkins and Maggie are both really good at staying far back and dealing range damage. I enjoyed Maggie a little bit more because she is very mobile and uh, it's fun just throwing fireballs around. Rico was also really enjoyable, but he was a little bit more difficult to master in my opinion. He uses a sword and dagger and he uh, has a increased attack speed so he can get in there and dish out damage. Having said that though, all of the heroes can use all of the weapons. So if you do take Victoria, for example, in and you find a really good bow, you can pick up the bow and just use that. It's just that she's not going to be as well equipped to use a bow starting off. And that kind of leads to the roguelike aspect. There are perks, attributes, and relics or accessories that you can pick up that will alter your playstyle. And they all seemed good, but, and my first complaint about the game is, I feel like there's a lack of variety in the game. I would personally really like to see more perks. Um, there, the perks in the game were pretty basic. Like for example, there's a perk called Ambusher. You do more damage to a full health target. And then there's the basic perks which increase sword damage, bow damage, and things like that. But I'd like to see some unique ones. Maybe you can spend gold to increase the damage. So every time you attack, it takes away one gold, but you do more damage. Or maybe perks that increase specific elemental damage and also the variety of weapons. I feel like the variety in the game was good and each one looked very unique. A common sword versus another common sword, they looked unique enough and if you saw a legendary sword, you knew right away it was a legendary sword because it looked really cool. But all of the attacks were the same. It was just, you know, basic slashes. I'd really like to see maybe some like a rapier added, like a, a stabbing sword, or maybe an axe, or maybe a um, spear, or maybe a crossbow. Maybe adding some two-handed melee weapons, like a great sword or a great axe. Another weapon that I'd like to see some variety is the spell tomes. All the variety of elemental damage seem to be incorporated with the melee weapons really well. You can find weapons that like the first time you hit an enemy it ignites them or poisons them or something like that. But there was only two different elemental spell tomes. Fire and Ice, and that's it. They both have two different forms of attacks, the Light Attack and Heavy Attack. The Light Attack for the Fire was a Shotgun Blast, just short range, fire like six, maybe little fireballs. And the, the Power Attack, or the Secondary Attack, was you charged it, formed a, a fireball in your hand, lobbed it, and it exploded. The Ice Tome Light Attack was just an, a straight Ice Shard, kind of long range Ice Shard. And the Power Attack, I wasn't a fan of. It, you have to continuously channel it, and it puts a circle on the ground where icicles spin around and do damage to things within the circle. It also slows and I think can freeze an enemy too. I'd like to see varieties of the tomes. One, I'd like to see the extra elements. Also, I would like there to be a poison element or poison spell tome. I'd like there to be a corruption spell tome. They'll probably add that later again. But I'd like to see different variations of let's say just like the fire tome you have the standard one with shotgun blast and the fireball but maybe you have ones that have like a flamethrower attack or maybe like a 
frontal cone that just ignites things. Or maybe a power attack that you hold and when you release it, it pushes everything around you away from you and it sets them on fire. Just some extra variation there I think would do wonders for the game. Just add a tremendous amount of replayability. Because I feel like roguelite games benefit from variety. It helps keep people playing. They want to try that next run. Okay, what other combos can I find that are stronger? And the more variety in the game I think will benefit it drastically. But those are all things that can be and probably will be added in the game. Like I said from the beginning, this game's in early access. So a lot of these criticisms that I have may change and probably will change. I also found some bugs in the game. I'm only briefly going to touch about them because they weren't game breaking and they will probably be fixed. I found some audio issues where the audio would just cut out randomly or it would bug. Like for example, Maggie, her um, ultimate ability is a slow bubble, a protective bubble. Things can't shoot through. So you're, you and your teammates can stay inside and you can shoot out of it. But um, when you're inside, it dampens the audio to make it sound like you're kind of like in a, a bubble. And when you leave it, it's supposed to go back to normal. Sometimes it didn't do that. It, it kind of stuck around for 30 seconds or so. Just little things like that. Minute, sure it'll get fixed. I also would kind of like to see some small changes with the movement. Maybe a little bit smoother movement. It, it seemed kind of finicky and jittery at some times. It wasn't smooth or it didn't feel smooth. I would also like to see a change with swapping weapons. A lot of the times when I would say... I was Hawkins. I was using a bow and I was shooting an enemy with a at range with a bow, but someone came up behind me or they started to get closer and I went to switch to my sword. It wouldn't switch. I found myself hitting the button repeatedly to try and uh, switch weapons and after three times or so it switched weapons and it looked like it had to finish the animation of the first weapon to switch to the second weapon. I'd like it if it just switched immediately. Like if I went with like say Hawkins in that example, if I go to shoot an arrow and I click switch weapons like immediately, it just cancels the arrow shot. Cancels it, switches weapons immediately. Small critiques there. Overall though, this game was a blast. I had a great time. The aesthetics are so unique. The look of the game, the feeling of the 80s cartoon, the roguelike elements that they have in the game and the party composition were great. I think they, they have such a good foundation for a great roguelike game. And I was thoroughly impressed at how quick that the game pulled me into its world. It pulled me into that feeling of sitting down Saturday morning watching those old 80s cartoons. So, down to the big question. Would I recommend this game? With any recommendation, I feel like I always should bring up the price point of this game. This game is $30, and $30 for an early access game is pretty steep. I would recommend Myth Force as long as you're aware that it is an early access game and it feels like an early access game. I feel like it is missing content. However, I'm comfortable and I'm happy with spending $30 for the game because I feel like they are going to add more content. They're going to improve the game as time goes by. And I think when the game fully releases, it's going to be an excellent game. Whether or not you want to wait until that time, that is totally up to you. But I am happy with supporting the team Beam Dog and buying it early access and experiencing it as they add more content and as they update the game and change it. But yeah guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.